guess who's just had a great big Asda's delivery? There's loads of it and it's just all over the floor at the moment. Well, hello. I'm going to start today's video off with a shopping haul because some people like shopping hauls. So if I put it at the start, the people that like the shopping hauls can watch the shopping haul at the start. This is an Asda delivery. Total mess. I'm going to arrange it nicely. Don't worry. They don't bring them in bags anymore. They bring them in crates. And obviously I don't want to hold them up. So I practically run into the house with the crate, tip it on the floor. Sometimes I pick it up carefully if it's a glass jar or something delicate, but just chuck it all on the floor, take the things back out. But I'm going to arrange it all nicely now and I'll show you what I've got. I'm going to start with my frozen things so I can get them in the freezer. I got these eight fruit flavour lollies. They're 65 pence for eight. They're only little. I'll show them to you in a minute. These were a substitution. So I only paid 90 pence for this because the thing that I ordered wasn't available. So I got these instead. It would have been a pound for six. 90 pence, one pound 20, 90 pence. And last of all, another substitution. I can't remember what I ordered from the frozen section, but I've got broad beans and that was £1.30 as a substitution. When you get a substitution with an online delivery, it basically means you pay the original price of what you ordered, but they give you something else instead, and that might be something that would retail for more money in store. Excuse the drilling in advance. I've got a builder in next door. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what these look like. I have these a lot regularly. I like them, I like the lemon ones best. There's no real lemon in them. Makes a and afters, how many calories in that? 24 calories you see in one of those. It kind of, um, it's a kind of substitute for afters when I'm trying to be, not eat too much calorific stuff, you know. So I got two boxes of those. Fruit splits, apparently the six in here, they feel like they're starting to melt. So <laughs> I better get them in the freezer quick. Oh, they're quite big, look. And calories in one of those. 84, so there's an 84 calorie dessert for you if you're interested. So that would be a pound for six. I think that's really good value if you compare to what you'd pay, you know, for an ice cream van or something. I'm just going to pop all that in the freezer and I'll get right back to you with the fresh produce. This is my ice lolly drawer. Well, ice lolly and bread drawer. There's also a boo boo buddy in there. Let's look at non bumps and, I don't know, things that need a nice pack. In they go. That's officially the drawer of delights now. That box can go in the recycling. It's a bit too delightful, it won't shut. Right, this is definitely a substitution. A shock, horror, oh no substitution, because I don't eat meat. Um, <laughs> chicken, king prawn and chorizo paella. Yeah, I, uh, I would have eaten the prawns. I ordered a prawn one and he's allergic to prawns so mm. got till the 10th of November to find somebody else to eat that one it says it's freezable I'll see if I can squeeze it in the freezer somewhere I did see it going past my nose earlier when I was kind of casting my eye over everything but I just didn't look closely at it I saw the prawn bit and yeah it didn't wake oh well never mind I was really looking forward to that later as well Here's the chilled lot. £1.40 each for the honey roast ham. Those are for Isabel, obviously. I don't eat meat. As the zone, extra mature cheddar, £2 for a big lump like that. The halloumi was £1.75. Six pork sausage rolls, again for Isabel. Lunchbox food, £1.15. For £2.50, I've got two of these spinach and ricotta tortellini. Hopefully, they haven't given me meaty ones. No, they haven't. Good. And some dairy free soya yogurts. These are a pound for four. We really love them. And this pizza, £1.25. That's just a margarita. The veggie sausages were hiding. Those were £2 for eight. Found another chilled item, £3 for Lurpak spreadable butter stuff. It's almost butter, there's a bit of oil in it. For £1.69, I got 12 large eggs. By the way, they don't write the prices on in the shops. I've just done that for myself so I can do this quickly. There's 12 of those. All intact, yay. I got seven bananas for 98 pence. 92 pence for a pack of three peppers. So I got two packets because Izzy munches away through them like apples. I got a cucumber for 45 pence. An iceberg lettuce, that was 47 pence. Broccoli, 49 pence. White mushrooms, 54 pence. Jumbo mushrooms, 90 pence. Three bulbs of garlic for 69 pence. And ginger for 40 pence. There's that much for that. Now, this is me doing my bit for the house morale, you know, stuck at home, bored to death. 
let's get excited for Christmas kind of thing. So I bought this for myself, Milky Bar Advent Calendar, which was £1.50. Now Isabel has got a substitution for hers. What she's supposed to have was a smooth milk chocolate Christmas Advent Calendar of the Galaxy variety. But for £2, I think it was £2 anyway, let me just check. Yeah, for £2 she's got a selection box instead. So the good news is we get to pig out on the chocolate now and the bad news is I need to buy another advent calendar. I think all in all that's probably quite good value for £2. One, two, three, four, six bars of chocolate for £2. 33p each, that's still good I think isn't it? I want to have a look inside. How bad am I? This is what isolation does to look. Ooh, Christmas selection box. And it's not even Christmas. <laughs> Thank goodness it's an even number. We can do sharesies. I feel like Santa just dropped in early. I'm going to put mine here anyway. <laughs> so you can gaze at it lovingly. Don't know what to do about the selection box. I'll leave it on the table and listen out for the noise Isabel makes when she comes across it. It'll be funny. <laughs> She'll probably go like this. <laughs> Drinks next. There is also beer and Diet Coke, but that's down in the cellar already. So I'm not showing you that, but I'm telling you about it. Now these, I think these might have been a substitution, apple and mango juice drink. I think what I tried to buy was juice. <laughs> I paid a pound for all these. I'm not sure if that's the actual retail price because that might have been the price of what I originally ordered. Not sure. These were 30 pence for three cartons of orange juice. These are good for Izzy's lunch boxes when she goes off to college. Oh, I haven't got the price for the apple juice. I'll come back to that in a minute. Soya, Alpro, £1.20 a carton. I use that in my coffee because it's the one brand that just doesn't curdle. This soya is unsweetened and it's 59 pence a carton. And I put that in my tea because it's perfectly good in tea. And it's a lot cheaper than that. So I use that for tea, that for coffee. I also got some Vimto. No added sugar squash, which was £2 for all that. And if you don't know what squash is, if you're not from the UK, it's a concentrate and you dilute it with water about, I don't know, one of those to four parts water, something like that. And it makes a nice, refreshing, cold, fruity drink. The apple juice was 55p a carton. My daughter Izzy just popped down. She saw the chocolates. I said, oh, do you know, the bad news, Izzy, bad news is we've got to eat all these and buy you a new advent calendar. She said, oh, <laughs> that's not that bad news. So she's gone back up to bed. Well, her, her bedroom, she's not going to bed. She's grabbed food and disappeared again. It's a teenager thing. Anyway, I'm going to go and put this lot away and then move on to the next category. Look, this, it's whittling down slowly. <laughs> I pop my juices and things in the wine rack that was here when I moved into the house because I don't drink wine. I do drink beer, but I don't like wine at all. I've got beer in the cellar. Speaking of the cellar, I'm going to go and pop some of this in my cellar isolation store that I've got. And the rest will go up in this cupboard, but I don't know. I don't want to overload the wall mounted. Oh, these I've had to hide from Izzy. <laughs> They're for lunch boxes. She keeps eating the individually wrapped things that I've bought for lunch boxes in the house. And that infuriates me then because I go to pack her lunches and I have to improvise because they're all gone. The only bakery item I have is bread. Six lovely fresh soft rolls for one pound. On to snacky things now. These were a pound for four twirls. We're gonna be absolutely swimming in chocolate this week. Now, I'm a bit confused from my email as to what these cost, but they were on multi-buy, so they would have been cheaper than buying them normally. Uh, that's why I've got three. And likewise with the Walker's Ready Sorted Crisps as well. So these are like little individual packets of cheesy crackers for people that are not familiar with the UK cracker brands. <laughs> They're good for lunch boxes, you see. Oh, now this is one of those substitutions that um, was a bit of a, a miss, <laughs> shall we say. So it should have been Italian style roast and ground coffee. But instead I've got Italian style roasted coffee beans. And I haven't got a grinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, IB's got a grinder, so <laughs> I 
think he's either I'm gonna buy myself a grinder because I could do with one to be honest or um uh, oh, I don't know I'll give him my beans <sighs> anyway next this must have been on some kind of multi-buy and I'm obviously getting confused now about what it would have cost without the multi-buy so it was £5.50 for two but I'm not sure if it actually came off in multi-buy savings at the end of the receipt I'm a bit confused but that's ground decaffeinated coffee anyway and it was on offer so I had that I've been thinking about getting a grinder for a long time you know I'm turning into quite a coffee snob <laughs> this could be just the perfect catalyst to get that process kicked off I might have a look and see how much they are at least we're on to the last of the food now I've got four tins of beef ravioli which my daughter loves which is 49 pence a tin these are peeled plum tomatoes, those are 28 pence a tin. Now we're only allowed so many at the moment in the pandemic, so I've been slightly, I don't know, maybe naughty by just mixing up the brands a bit just to get that. Because I really eat a lot of tin tomatoes, I must admit. Anyway, uh, those are 28p, the chopped ones are 28p and the shop's own brand 35p. These, I'm sure it said four for two pounds. But apparently, according to the receipt, it's three for two pounds. But anyway, there they are. This was supposed to be two small jars and they've charged me 98 pence and given me one big one instead. These are actually not substitutions. <laughs> 59 pence for green olives. Coriander was 84 pence. I never buy them. Well, I do sometimes buy them in jars in emergency, but like normally I'm the sort of person that gets the big bag because I just use so many, but at the moment it's a bit difficult to do that and this substitution I wanted cumin and I got cinnamon <laughs> oh, slightly different uh, anyway there we are we're on to the last things yay these were 95 pence each shampoo for some reason I bought two bottles I was obviously stocking up uh, but we ran out uh, so that's good we got those this is mouthwash Izzy uses mouthwash quite a lot. 125 that was. It's as his own. These, um, I think they might have been on offer. They were a pound a packet. They're the flushable toilet wipes. And this is definitely a substitution. There is no way I would have bought Kleenex. So I paid 80 pence for that. But I think that was the price of the original item, which would have been a cheaper version, I think. And that's it for the shopping. And I well should have had my breakfast before doing that. I'm starving now. That was torture. <laughs> I'm going to have some breakfast and watch a vlog now. Hello, Miss Isabel. What are you up Hello. to? Hello. I'm living my best life messaging people. I need to make points for a debate. We have an Among Us OC world and we're deciding which one of those characters is the most suspicious. Which oh. you wouldn't understand. Okay. And I am going to have a duvet day. I've been wanting to have a duvet day for so long and if you can't have a duvet day in the pandemic when can you have one? You know? So I'm going to get a nice coffee on because I haven't made one yet today and I'm just going to lounge around in bed watching videos and when it comes to lunchtime we're going to have pizza I probably will put extra veg on it I can't help myself but you know minimum effort and then ready meals for dinner tonight except I've got the booby prize now I've got the macaroni cheese because they sent me a meaty posh ready meal I've ordered a new seal for my coffee pot here well I think a pack of six or something they were cheap and they're on their way from Amazon I hope they don't take a month to come because sometimes things take ages don't they I do have a bigger pot that does work it's just I've come to become quite a coffee snob now and I don't like coffee that's been reheated it's just so much nicer when it's fresh but I think I will buy myself a grinder for these beans it's something I've been thinking about for a long time actually getting myself a coffee grinder it just I don't know I feel bad spending money that I don't need to spend especially at the moment but anyway uh, I'll pop that back in there for now here is the scene of sheer heaven and I'm gonna get back into my fluffy pajama bottoms that I haven't even been out of them that long very nice I'm gonna watch videos and drink coffee uh, can you see the coffee there on my messy bedside table oh yeah I really feel like having a mega splurge on Amazon, but I need to be restrained, especially this year. I'm keeping really optimistic about next year though, possibly the year after, once all the pandemic settles down, because it eventually will, eventually, 
it'll be consigned to the history books, won't it? And what a party we'll all have when we can be released into the wild again <laughs> and enjoy holidays and go into the pub. Not that I was going to the pub anyway, but I work in pubs because I'm a musician, obviously. I uh, do quite a lot of gigs, play live music in pubs. It's funny, just when this all struck, I was just getting to that age with Izzy where me and IB could nip out and could potentially go to the pub for a couple of hours and leave her at home. And then this struck and uh, so it didn't really quite happen. We had a couple of nights and that's it. I think I'm going to go on Amazon and buy myself a coffee grinder. I bought one for IB once and uh, it's probably in my order's history. I don't think he's had any trouble with it. I might just get that for myself. It would be good actually if I get the same one as IB because then when we go to each other's houses we won't have an issue figuring out how to work it because we'll be familiar with it. That's a plan. Hmm, it's not in my order history. This goes back to 2008, but no, <laughs> it's not there. I'll have to start from scratch. I think I'll just go for this one. It's £14.99, but it's got four and a half stars, so that's pretty good. It's an Ago star, apparently. Yay! I've ordered myself a coffee grinder and some underwear, but I didn't need to show you those ones. Maybe I will when they come. Probably not on, but I'm the kind of girl that likes very big underwear. Lots of coverage, make me feel so snuggly. <laughs> I'm not, you know, into these stringy things, each to their own. I'm going to find some videos to watch now and just chill out. Oh, this is such a treat, it really is. Bit of a quiet vlog today. Oh, go on, I'll show them to you. These, they've got legs in. Ooh, just how I like them. Well, some hours have passed. I've got, oh, I've got my reading glasses on. Oh, well, never mind. Um, enjoying binge watching some of Eve Bennett's old vlogs from two years ago when she was just going to be going off to Oxford Uni quite soon after that. So it was interesting, like, just having a window into that era of life. Now, I'd like to say that I love watching other people's vlogs obviously I do vlogs myself so obviously I love vlogs because that's why I wanted to do it myself but I think it's really beneficial to watch a good spectrum of all the ages so I watch vloggers of almost all age groups from about 20 and up really I did watch younger ones but they got older <laughs> so I, yeah all the teenage ones that I was watching they're now in their 20s so perhaps I need to find some new teenager vloggers the thing is like when people are talking to the camera they talk to the camera as if it's their little special best friend and if I see an 18 year old in the street they look at me as some kind of senior and they will speak to me in an entirely different way from how they would speak to their friend or their camera maybe. So you kind of see a whole different side to all the different generations because how they perceive you in real life might prejudice the way that they speak to you. And me too, you know, if I saw an eight-year-old child in the street versus a 62-year-old person, I might speak to them differently. You just can't help it, can you, the way you address people. You kind of try to gauge how they would like you to relate to them and then you adapt it per person per person. But vloggers, of course, just chat to the camera. I can't quite remember where I was going with that. Oh yeah, all the different age groups have their own kind of bubble of world that they live in, the different technology that they use, the different apps, different ways of doing things, and we can learn a lot from all the different age groups, I think. You know, everybody's culture is very different. Like, Izzy's world is completely different to my world. The technology that she accesses on a regular basis, it might not occur to somebody a few decades older to even try to use some of the things that she uses but she's only been introduced to it by her other peers you know within her own social sphere i think if you only live in your own social sphere it can limit what you get exposed to in the way of tech and culture and it can be very enriching and empowering to have access to all these different things so anyway i can't think of any examples off the top of my head so that's no good <laughs> Well, maybe different methods of organisation. For instance, somebody old school like me might have only stuck to a paper diary, for instance, if I hadn't witnessed what people in the early 20s are doing on a regular basis on YouTube, that kind of thing. I'm going to make another coffee and watch more 
vlogs because it's just so fun. I'm really enjoying myself. There's my second coffee on the go. Oh, I'm having the best day ever. Proper holiday at home today. <laughs> Izzy's in there. She's just, she's not in the mood to be talking to the camera, I don't think, but she's like messaging her friends frantically. There's four of them, I think, in the live. Three, is it? Missing one. Okay, three of them. They're debating something or other to do with some of that popular culture for their age group that I have no idea what it is. But they're enjoying it. They have these debates between them or they organise them in advance and I think they prepare their arguments in advance and then they get together on social media and, uh, and argue it out. I've just asked Isabel if there's like a ringleader or I don't know what you'd call it. A mediator. How do you even know these things? <laughs> okay, they take it in turns to be in charge, to be the mediator. I am absolutely not hungry because I had such a late breakfast, but Izzy is and she's going to do the pizza. She's just going to cook it all and do some salad with it. And then um, she'll just leave mine on the side for when I'm hungry, I think. More coffee. Oh yeah. I'm going to resume my vlog watching in my bed now. One of the problems with being a daily vlogger is obviously your favourite thing in the world is vlogs, otherwise you wouldn't be a daily vlogger, but you're so busy spending all those hours every day editing and uploading and all that stuff that you don't actually have time to just sit down and properly binge watch loads of vlogs. So it's it's just a treat for me today to do that. Hey, I've had a very lovely blobby time and now I am ready to emerge from my room and I smell food. That was a wasted filming opportunity. She looked like Ermintrude, the cow off the magic roundabout. She had um, a massive bit of lettuce hanging out of her mouth and she was going like, gradually reeling it in, weren't you, darling? Yeah. So you're not feeling very filmy today then, are you? No, I'm not feeling good. Oh, she's feeling a bit under the weather today. I was as well yesterday. I'm feeling better today though than I was yesterday. But I'm allowed to film the lettuce. She's just sitting here eating a plate of lettuce. I have pizza too. Have you had the pizza? Oh, I thought I could smell pizza. Excellent, that means I can have some pizza. Ooh, oh, you've got your hand in shot then. Are you sure I can't film that? That's hilarious. Yeah. What, you're sure I can't? Yeah. <laughs> She's just told me she won the debate. I don't know how the winner is declared, to be honest. But, uh... Because the person who... Because there's three of us. Mm -hmm. The person who's judging picks the winner. Oh, I see. Pizza. Pizza. I'm going to make myself a salad to go with that as well. There we are. There's my very late lunch at 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I love these olives. Look, they're great big fat ones. These ones. I'm gonna have a munch on that now and then I'm just gonna edit what I've done so far today because there's nothing like having a break from uploading and stuff and just watching YouTube videos all day. It's nothing like that to inspire you to just wanna make your own even more. <laughs> So there we are. I have had a really relaxing day today. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.